look recovering all deleted photos and boom there I there I am and also guys I don't know if you could tell but the Hey everybody, in this video, I will show you how to recover your permanently deleted photos and videos on your iPhone or Android device, guys. So, basically, even if you hit permanently delete and you don't have a backup and, yeah, you don't have a backup and you thought you wouldn't be able to get it back, don't worry, guys. In this video, I will show you how to still get it back easily uh, within a couple of minutes. You don't even need a computer for this. You can do this all from your phone. So guys, enough of the chit chat. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase how to do this really quick on your um, on my phone, and I'll show you guys how to set this up as well. So I'm gonna turn on my screen recording here on my iPhone. So screen recording will be live in three, two, one. Okay, you guys should see my iPhone screen, and uh, it's pretty simple. So I have this app right here called Photos Recovery. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what it is, and then I'll show you guys how to actually download this app onto your iOS and Android devices as well. So this is what it looks like, Photos Recovery version 3.5. Recover all deleted photos and videos without backups and even after 30 days. So a lot of people, you know, think that after 30 days, the photos and videos are permanently gone. No, that's not the case, guys. You can still get it back, uh, but you just got to follow this tutorial. So we're going to click OK. And um, here we are. It's going to pull up the recently deleted page because uh, it recovers it from the database or like something like that. I don't even know how the app works exactly, but it's insane. So we click recover and watch what happens, guys. Look, recovering all deleted photos and boom, there I, there I am. And also, guys, I don't know if you could tell, but those are very old photos. Like you can see like right there, I had like pretty short hair. I think those photos were actually from two years ago. Um, so it just goes in the database and looks at photos from like a long time ago and it recovers it. So those photos were literally from 2000, we're in 2023. Yeah, those are like 2021, I believe, but it does work. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually go ahead and get this um, app. Um, so you guys could do the exact same thing and recover your photos and videos without actually having to have a backup. Um, so yeah. For before you guys can actually get the app though um, if you're on iOS you have to just change some settings really quick on your iPhone if you're on Android you don't have to do this step but iOS users open up your settings and go on over to battery really quick and make sure you have a low power mode off and then once you guys do that go to general and then go down to background app refresh click on it and just make sure you guys have Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi install your data just like that and then go over to about and make sure you guys are running iOS 11 or above. And that is going to be all the settings that we have to change. And now we are ready to get the Photos Recovery app installed. I'm going to show you guys right now how to do it. So what you guys are going to do is open up your browser on your iPhone or Android, guys, and go on over to Google.com, guys. So everyone knows how to spell Google.com. Just go on over to it. I'll explain to you guys what we have to do once we're there. Go, go on over to Google.com. And once you guys are here, what we're going to go ahead and do is go over to... Um, the search bar and type in xtweak.net guys so this is basically just type this in xtweak.net we're going to search it and to spell that i'm just going to zoom in so you guys could see oops um hold on a second guys for some reason my google is bugging out my google's bugging out bro calm down google calm down. all right so this is what it looks like xtweak.net guys just type it man why does it keep opening the search bar bro i hate this i hate this phone bro Okay, guys, so you're going to see xtweak.net like that. Just make sure you spell it correctly uh, and find the right site, basically. But, yeah, this is it right here, xtweak.net. Click it. And it's going to take you to this site, guys. It's going to look like this. Um, and it's pretty simple to actually go ahead and get the actual app. All we have to go ahead and do now, guys, is go on over to um, games. Or actually not games applications and if you scroll down yep there it is right there photos recovery app that's the one we want now if you guys don't want to just do it that way you can go to the search thing here and just type in photos recovery tap it and then tap download now and it will start to go ahead and download the app so as you can see it takes a little bit of time because it is um, you know it is a pretty big app I mean it's not big it's just Connecting to the servers or whatever, but yeah, it's gonna go ahead and start installing um, the the uh, app. So it's almost at 50%. Let's just wait a little bit, and then I'll show you guys how to finish this, and you will be able to get the app installed after you do this last step. It's at 75%. Ninety percent. 
And almost at a hundred. It's at a hundred percent. Let's see what happens. Hold your horses, guys. Okay, so once it's done loading, it's going to take you to a page like this. Missing files. Additional files are required for photo recovery. So this last step is mandatory, but you guys will have to go ahead and do it. It's pretty simple. Just click go. There will be a video tutorial in there if you guys get confused, and that is going to be it for the video. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.